good morning students welcome back to chemistry class today we are going to study about hydrides what are the types of hydrides okay ionic hydrides covalent hydrides and metallic hydrides about that today we are going to study listen carefully take notes okay okay students about hydrides we studied introduction about hydrides we have studied in last class uh, let me repeat once again the term hydride refers to an anion of hydrogen okay hydride means h minus okay understand so the hydride means h minus that is the it is uh, it is the negative ion okay anion of hydrogen the hydrogen generally forms a proton you know hydrogen uh, generally forms proton that is uh, h hydrogen h okay only one electron in the outermost electron so always uh, hydrogen try to lose this one electron to get the metal uh, hydrogen get the cation okay that is proton h plus proton understood hydrogen generally forms a proton but when it forms a compound with an element with lower electron negativity it forms a hydride ion okay when it forms a compound with an element with lower electron negativity it forms an hydride for example lithium lithium hydride it is low lithium is one of the lower electron negativity than hydrogen understood so uh, for this case hydride, hydride ion is formed lithium uh, lost this outermost electron to the hydrogen uh, it forms li plus lithium cation when hydrogen adsorbing this one electron to form hydride h minus okay this is the introduction about the hydrides so here uh, the hydrides now we are going to discuss about the classification of hydrides classification of hydrides okay the hydrides are classified into three types hydrides are classified into three types according to the nature of bonding according to the nature of bonding okay the first one ionic hydrides ionic hydrides otherwise we call as the saline saline hydrides saline hydrides okay so the saline hydrides means uh, the hydrogen with water violently producing fire okay there is a saline hydrides saline hydrides uh, there is ionic hydrides okay so between this hydrides uh, the hydrogen and this uh, compound it forms the ionic bond between these two compounds hydrogen and the other element it combined with the ionic bond that hydride we called as the ionic hydrides okay covalent hydrides covalent hydride means that covalent hydrides compound it forms the uh, bond between these two compounds that is the covalent hydrides so covalent bond covalent bond is formed between the uh, between the two compounds that compounds we called as the covalent hydrides okay so about the metallic hydrides metallic hydrides means uh, that is the it is obtained by the hydrogenation of metals hydrogenation of metal okay metallic bond metallic bond we know metallic bond is formed between the uh, the free metal free electrons okay free electrons and the central metal atom that bond is well, we called as the metallic bond already we studied about that okay so the metallic hydride means the hydrides are usually obtained by the hydrogenation of metals and alloys there is hydrogen occupies the interstitial sites okay interstitial that means uh, voids that means hole in between the holes the hydrogen uh, it is occupied that position that is called the metallic hydrides understood so let us discuss clearly um, about that so first upon ionic hydride ionic hydride okay so ionic bond we know about the ionic bond the ionic bond is formed between the two atoms by transfer of electrons from the outermost orbit of one atom to other atom that is called ionic bond already we studied about the what do you mean by ionic bond the bond formed between the two atoms by uh, transfer of transfer completely transfer completely transfer of valence electron from the 
outermost orbit of one atom to other atom. Okay, so due to transfer of this electron, the bond is formed between the two atoms. That bond we call as the ionic bond. Okay, so between whatever um, elements between the ionic bond is formed or ionic hydrides is formed, whatever elements within whatever elements the ionic bond, uh, ionic hydrides is formed. That is the elements having lower electronegativity than hydrogen. The elements having lower electronegativity than hydrogen are called ionic hydrides okay lower electronegativity than hydrogen okay remember uh, uh, don't forget that okay the whatever between whatever elements ionic hydrides is formed ionic hydrides is formed made between the elements having lower electronegativity than hydrogen the elements having lower electronegativity than hydrogen Okay, so that hydrides we call as the ionic hydrides. Okay, these hydrides composed of an electropositive metals, generally an alkali or alkaline earth metal, except beryllium and magnesium, formed by transfer of electrons from the metal to hydrogen atom. Okay, so uh, ionic hydride means. These are hydrides composed of an electropositive metal. Electropositive metal. Whatever metals we call as electropositive metal. Alkali metals or alkaline earth metal. You know the group number one. First group elements and second group elements we call as the uh, alkali and alkaline earth metal. Here the all the alkali metals. All the alkali metals it, it, it can transfer the electrons from the outermost orbit of these ele uh, elements okay for, uh, so for example alkali metal then that means group one elements what are the group one elements you know lithium aluminum uh, lithium sodium okay potassium rubidium cesium francium uh, rubidium Okay, these elements we called as the alkali metals. So, for these all elements, why we are called as the group 1 elements means these all elements having the one electron in their outermost orbits. Okay, one electron, only one electron is present in the outermost orbit. That element we called as the alkali metal. Okay, so these elements, easy to uh, transfer this one electron. Okay, it completely transfer this one electron from the outermost orbit of this elements with the hydrogen okay so the metal it becomes the metal positive electro positive metal okay understand so and, and uh, alkaline earth metal alkaline earth metal what is alkaline earth metal beryllium magnesium calcium okay these metals are called as the alkaline earth metal here except beryllium and magnesium except beryllium and magnesium all the elements okay the except beryllium and magnesium all the elements can form the hydrides okay so except beryllium and magnesium all the other elements calcium strontium barium and radium these all elements can transfer each outermost electron with hydrogen atom understood transfer this outermost electron to the hydrogen atom so these hydrides we called as the ionic hydrides. Okay. They can be prepared by the reaction of elements at about 400 degrees Celsius. 400 degrees Celsius. And these are salt-like. Okay. These elements we called as the salt-like. That is saline. Saline. Okay. Saline hydrides. And it is high melting, high melting point and white crystalline solids. These are the properties, physical properties of ionic hydrides. How can you prepare the ionic hydrides? What are the uh, ionic hydrides is formed between whatever elements? 
Electropositive elements with hydrogen. Okay. The ionic hydrogen is formed between electropositive elements. That is the uh, electropositive elements means electronegativity low, lower than the hydrogen atom. Electronegativity lower than the hydrogen atom. Okay. So the ionic hydrogen is formed between the electronegativity lower than the hydrogen atom with the hydrogen atom. Okay, for example, alkali metal and alkaline earth metal, it is the more electropositive metal because these elements uh, can donate, can uh, can uh, transfer this uh, electron, uh, electron from the outermost orbit of these elements. Okay, so easily transfer because uh, one uh, alkali metal only one. Electrons in their outermost orbit. Alkaline earth metal has only two elements, electrons in their outermost orbit. Okay, so these elements can remove, can transfer this electron to get the stable configuration. Understand? For example, lithium, you know, lithium atomic number three. And so, uh, when, uh, what is the electronic configuration? Lithium two comma one. So this uh, lithium atom can can lose this one electron to get the metal positive ion. There is lithium plus. Okay. So hydrogen. Uh, this when lithium combines with the hydrogen, hydrogen atom gain this one electron to form hydride ion. Okay. So the lithium Li Li plus H two hydrogen uh, to form LiH lithium hydride. Lithium hydride, okay, hydride ions, okay, understand. So here we have we have to balance the equation here. Hydrogen two uh, two atoms having, so we have to make here two. So lithium now two two atoms, so we have to make here two. Okay, so these two lithium atoms, these two lithium atoms, this lithium atom, uh, donate these two electron. Okay, donate it gives uh, electron two electron to the hydrogen atom. Okay, two lithium atom is two lithium atom, one lithium and another one lithium atom. Uh, so these two electrons give its outermost electron, first orbit two electrons, sec second orbit one electron having. Okay, these two lithium atom, when it combines with the hydrogen atom, so it, it donate this one electron to this hydrogen atom. It, it transfer this or completely transfer this one electron to this hydrogen atom. So the hydrogen atom becomes the hydride ion H minus. H minus means more electrons are having there. So another one example calcium. When calcium combines with the hydrogen to form calcium hydride. Calcium hydride. What is the formula CaH2? Calcium hydride formula CaH2 because the calcium atom, you know, uh, calcium atom, you know, calcium atomic number uh, 20. So, electronic configuration uh, first orbit 2 electrons, second orbit 8 electron, third orbit 8 electron, and last orbit 2 electron. Okay, understand. So, the uh, what is the valence of calcium here? 2. What is the valence of calcium? 2. So, the calcium order try to uh, lose this 2 electron to get the stable configuration, stable uh, octet configuration. Understand? So, when uh, calcium, it combines with the hydrogen, it can lose 2 electron. So, the it can combine with the two hydrogen atom. One electron, it give one electron to this hydrogen atom and uh, another one electron, it can uh, give this hydrogen atom. Okay, so two hydride ions is formed. So the calcium, what is the uh, formula for calcium hydride? CaH2. Understand? So this is the ionic bond this are about the ionic bond okay and uh, sorry ionic hydrides ionic hydrides the bond formed between the two atoms which bond is formed ionic bond is formed between these two uh, compounds okay understand so uh, due to the forming ion ionic bond between the two compounds uh, these hydrides we called as the ionic hydrides okay understand and second type of hydride, covalent hydride. Covalent hydride, you know, the covalent bond, you know about the covalent bond? 
the bond formed between the two atoms by mutual sharing of pair of electrons between two atoms that is called the covalent bond okay so ionic bond means complete transfer of valence electron from one atom to other atom covalent bond means a sharing of electrons between two atoms the due to the transferring uh, due to tra sharing of electrons the bond formed between the two atoms that is called a covalent bond okay so the covalent hydride means the compound in which the hydrogen is attached to another element by sharing of electrons that is called covalent hydride okay there are compounds in which hydrogen is attached to another element it is attached hydrogen is attached to another element by sharing of electrons how sharing of electrons okay so uh, for example ammonia i am taking one of the example ammonia nh3 okay so the covalent hydride uh, covalent bond or covalent hydride is formed between the non metals ionic bond formed between the metals okay so the covalent bond is formed between the non metals uh, nitrogen is one of the non metal okay understand so the nitrogen atomic number 7 you know 7 so electronic configuration 2 comma 5 okay so the how many electrons are having the outermost orbit 5 five electrons in the outermost orbit 1 2 3 4 5 okay so the these three electrons in the nitrogen atom it can share this three electron between three hydrogen atom to the three hydrogen atom okay three hydrogen atom so this hydrogen atom also having one electron okay here this nitrogen atom share this electron to this hydrogen atom and this electron share to this hydrogen atom and this, this electron share to this hydrogen atom these three hydrogen atom also share each electron to this nitrogen atom okay this hydrogen hydrogen share this electron to this nitrogen atom like that this hydrogen atom share this electron to this nitrogen atom and also this hydrogen atom share this electron to this nitrogen atom okay so the by sharing of electrons the bond is formed okay the two you know two electron combine to form one bond okay one single bond understand so how many covalent bonds are formed here three covalent bonds okay so the compounds in which the hydrogen is attached to another element by sharing of electrons this compounds is called as the covalent hydride covalent hydride okay this is one of the example ammonia and another methane water hydrogen chloride these are the example for the covalent hydride and this covalent hydride we can further divide it into three categories okay covalent hydride also we can classify it as three types what are the three types first one electron precise electron precise electron precise okay second one electron rich hydrides sorry electron deficient first one electron precise hydrides electron precise hydrides second one electron deficient hydride electron deficient hydride third one electron rich hydride electron rich hydride understand what are three types of hydride electron precise hydrides electron rich hydrides and electron deficient hydrides understand so first upon electron precise hydrides means the exact number of electrons having exact number of electrons to form normal covalent bond that is called electron precise hydrides okay for example many more examples are having for the electron precise uh, hydrides for example methane ch4 uh, and ethane c2h6 and silicon tetrahydride silicon tetrahydride and germanium tetrahydride these are the example for the electron precise hydride okay one example we can 
explain okay so here is ch4 CH4. How much electrons are having? Uh, how much carbon atom? Only one carbon. Uh, carbon atomic number 6. So what is the electronic configuration 2 comma 4? How what is the valence of carbon here? 4. What is the valence of carbon? 4. So how many electrons are present in the outermost orbit? 4 electrons. Uh, 1 electron. Sec 2, 3 and 4. And how much hydrogen atoms are having in the methane? Totally four hydrogen atoms are having. Okay. These four hydrogen atoms, when it combines with the carbon atom, okay, each hydrogen, how much hydrogen atom having? Four hydrogen atom. Carbon atom, how, what is the valence of carbon? Four valence. How much hydrogen atom combines with the carbon? Four hydrogen atom. Okay. So here, the four electrons in the carbon atom, the carbon atom share this. 4 valence electron to 4 hydrogen atom. Okay. Carbon atom share this 4 electrons. 4 valence electron to the 4 hydrogen atom. Like that, each hydrogen atom. How much hydrogen atom having? 4 hydrogen atom. Each hydrogen atom share its electron to the carbon atom. Okay, understand. So, this uh, carbon uh, share this electron to this hydrogen atom and this electron to this hydrogen atom and this electron to this hydrogen atom and this electron to this hydrogen atom. Like that, four hydrogen atom, this hydrogen atom share this electron to this carbon atom and uh, this hydrogen share this electron to the carbon atom and this hydrogen atom share this electron to this uh, carbon atom and this hydrogen atom share this electron to this carbon atom. Okay, so totally how much bonds are formed here? Totally four bonds are forming. Okay, uh, by combining these two electron to form one bond and they combining these two electron to form one bond and combines these two electron to form one bond and combine these two electron to form one bond. How much colon bond is formed here? Totally four colon bond is formed. Okay. So electron precise hydride means the exact number of electron, correct number of electrons are having for this compound to, to form this uh, uh, covalent hydride. Here, to, uh, all, the all the elements have the exact number of electron to share the electron to the other elements. Understand? So, the electron precise means the exact number of electron having to form the normal covalent bond. And second types of... Electron uh, covalent hydride means electron deficient hydride. Electron deficient covalent hydride. Electron deficient means lacking of electron there. Electron deficiency. Okay, example for the electron deficient covalent hydride B2H6. B2H6. That is diborane. Okay, so the here two boron atoms to connect it with the six hydrogen atoms. Okay, you know what is the atomic number for boron? 5. So, what is the electronic configuration? 2, 3. So, what is the valence of boron here? 3. Okay, so each two borons having the 3 valence electron. Okay, 3 electron, valence electron. And the 3 uh, boron atom can share these 3 electro electrons to 3 hydrogen atom, H boron atoms share 3 valence electron to 6 hydrogen atoms. Okay, totally 3 uh, hydrogen atoms. Understood? So, you know hydrogen atomic number 1, hydrogen atomic number 1, only 1, hydrogen valency only 1. So, hydrogen atom can share its one electron to the boron atoms. Okay, so each hydrogen atom, totally 6 hydrogen atom, each 6 hydrogen atom share its uh, electron to the uh, two boron atoms. Okay, understood. So here the three boron atoms totally uh, two boron atoms there. So two boron atoms having six electrons. Okay, this six electron boron atom can share to the hydrogen atom like that. Six hydrogen atom can share its six electron. 
okay uh, six hydrate of having six electrons so uh, six each hydrogen atoms can share its electron to the two boron atoms okay so here how much coulomb bond is formed here totally six coulomb bond is formed by using uh, six pairs of electrons by using six pairs of electrons six covalent bond is formed covalent bond you know the bond formed between the two atoms by mutual sharing of electrons between the two elements okay we know here totally six uh, boron two boron atoms uh, share a six electron to the six hydrogen atom similarly six hydrogen atoms uh, share each electron six electron to the two boron atoms okay so totally six covalent bond is formed six pairs of electrons are there so six pairs of electron formed six covalent bonds okay so but in the boron and boron bond okay here no electron to bond between the boron and boron so electron deficiency having there how much electron deficient here two electron because two electron need to form a bond okay here to uh, bond between the boron and the boron here no electron circ <laughs> takes place here so this is the electron deficient molecule boron diborane uh, diborane is the electron deficient covalent hydride okay understood and third type of covalent hydride electron rich hydride electron rich hydride electron rich hydride means electron more electrons are having okay extra electrons are having there is the electron rich hydride example for the electron rich hydrides ammonia nh3 and h2o okay h2o ammonia and h2o here ammonia you know nh3 ammonia nitrogen and hydrogen one nitrogen atom combines with the three hydrogen atom to form ammonia molecule okay so nitrogen you know atomic number of nitrogen seven so electronic configuration first shell two electrons second shell five electrons okay so this is the electrons for the nitrogen one two three and four five and three hydrogen atoms okay so three hydrogen atom combines here so here the nitrogen can share totally five electrons are having in the outermost orbit but nitrogen share its three electron to the three hydrogen atoms similarly three hydrogen atom share its three electron to the three and uh, to the nitrogen atom okay so this nitrogen atom share this electron to this hydrogen atom and this electron share to this hydrogen atom and this electron share to this hydrogen atom like that this hydrogen atom share uh, hydrogen atom you know atomic number one so only one electrons are having in the outermost shell okay so the hydrogen atom only one electron so this one electron can share the, to the nitrogen atom and also this hydrogen atom share each this one electron to this nitrogen atom and also this hydrogen atom share this one electron to this nitrogen atom totally three pairs of electrons are present here so three covalent bond is formed okay and here two lone pairs of electrons are having here what do you mean by lone pair lone pair means the electrons not involving for the bond formation that electrons we call as the lone pair lone pair means the electrons does not involving any bond formation okay that's uh, the electron uh, do not share electrons or and uh, do not transferring takes place there okay so these electrons we call as the lone pair of electron so for the in the case of ammonia how much lone pair of electrons are having two lone pair of electrons are having so extra electrons are having that is the electron rich extra two electrons are having okay in the case of uh, bor uh, diborane here p2 h6 two electrons need to form a co uh, four covalent bonds 
ओके बी टू हेच सिक्स मीन टोटली हाउ मच कोल एंड बॉन्स सेवन कोल एंड बॉन्स वी नीड बट ओनली सिक्स कोल एंड बॉन्स फॉर द सिक्स कोल एंड बॉन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर हैविंग एंड अनदर वन बॉन्ड फॉर्मिंग बॉन्ड नो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर हैविंग सो दिस दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियन कामोड but here ammonia and water water is so electron rich okay because uh, when two hydrogen atom combines with oxygen atom oxygen atomic number 8 uh, outermost electron 2,6 totally six electrons have in the outermost electron but here uh, oxygen atom can only uh, hydrogen two hydrogen combines with the oxygen so two hydrogen atom need two electron only okay so remaining four electrons are present as the lone pair in the water molecule understand uh, so this so water water also electron rich compound electron rich hydride understand and then we are going to study about next type of hydrides that is metallic hydrides are otherwise known as interstitial hydrides metallic hydrides or interstitial hydrides okay so how we can obtain the metallic hydrides metallic hydrides is obtained by hydrogenation of metals and alloys in which hydrogen occupies the interstitial sites hydrogenation of metals and alloys in which hydrogen occupies the interstitial sites okay hydrogen occupies the interstitial site what do you mean by interstitial site interstitial site means the hole voids for uh, that is the voids what voids means hole okay so for example we are take one of the metal okay we are taking metals uh, this is the metal so not the metal uh, lattice crystal lattice here this is the hole holes of the holes having the metals this place we call as the interstitial site interstitial site okay so when hydrogenation of metals the hydrogen atom can uh, can occupy the interstitial sites of the metals okay and alloys what do you mean by alloy alloy means the homogeneous mixture of two or more metals homogeneous means homo means same you know okay so for example uh, copper uh, for example one of the best example brass brass is an alloy of copper and gold copper and uh, gold okay uh, when the uh, the copper we are uh, the copper we are adding in molten molten state and the gold also in molten state we are adding the copper in gold we get the alloy okay alloy alloy means same okay we cannot identify which one is the copper and which one is the gold here that is called alloy okay so hydrogenation of metals and alloys in which the hydrogen occupies the interstitial sites i hope all of, i hope you all of all of you understood about that interstitial sites okay and what are the special character what are the characteristics of this metallic hydrides the first character the metallic hydrides most of the hydrides are non stoichiometric with variable composition non stoichiometric with variable composition okay what do you mean by stoichiometric and what do you mean by non stoichiometric here stoichiometric means a compound in which the atoms are combined exact whole number ratio okay the, the compound in which the atoms are combined in exact whole number okay the, uh, or otherwise we we can explain the cations and anions are present in a crystal in a metal that is that is in same ratio okay for example the sodium chloride in acl sodium and chloride ions it is present in the same ratio okay uh, if five molecules of uh, sodium five cations five 
cations Na plus ions are present means 5 Cl minus ions are also present there. That is called a stoichiometric. But the most of the hydroxide is not stoichiometric. Okay, the metals and hydroxide is not in same ratio with variable combustion. Okay, with variable combustion. For example, another example, titanium hydride. Titanium hydride means TAH and palladium hydride. That is PDH. Here, uh, the titanium only one atom here, but the hydrogen is 1.5 to 1.8 atoms is present. Okay. And palladium hydride, palladium is one, uh, one of the atom of palladium is present in the palladium hydride crystal. And hydrogen is 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 percent, uh, 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 atoms are present. Okay, it is the, this is called a non-stoichiometric, non-stoichiometric okay, and a variable composition. But some metals having the stoichiometric, for example, Titanium dihydride, TaH2, zirconium dihydride, Zator H2, vanadium dih2, uh, vanadium VH2. Okay, so these hydrides, these hydrides are stoichiometric. Stoichiometric means a compound in which the atoms are combined in exact whole number ratio. Okay, so for this hydride, titanium dihydride, uh, zirconium hydride. TAH2, Zr H2, and Zn H2, these hydrides are in stoichiometry. Okay, and another one property the hydro metallic hydrides are in light, it is relatively light, it is relatively light. And next property it is inexpensive. In expensive metallic hydrides are in expensive, we can prepare easily. Okay, in expensive and thermally unstable. Thermally unstable. Okay, when we are heating the metallic hydride, the hydrogen atom can be escaped, hydrogen gas can be escaped. Okay, so in which we, we can make them useful for the hydrogen storage application. Okay, for the, for, uh, we can, uh, this is one of the use for the metallic hydride. Uh, this is the thermally stable for the thermally unstable property of the metallic hydride. We can store the hydrogen atom. Okay, we can use to store the hydrogen atom. These are about the metallic hydrides. And today our assignment discuss the types of the covalent hydride. Discuss the types type of the covalent hydride. Okay, if you are having book, take your book now. I will take page number 113. On the right side of the page, first paragraph. Discuss the types of the covalent hydride. Their compounds in which the hydrogen is attached to another element by sharing of electrons. Okay, the hydrogen attached to another element by sharing of electrons. That, that compound we call as the covalent hydride. The most common examples of covalent hydrides of non-metals or uh, methane, ammonia, water and hydrogen chloride. Uh, covalent hydride are further divided into three high categories. What are three categories? Electron precise. Example, methane, CH4, C2H6, ethane, SiH4, silicon tetrahydride, GeH4, germanium tetrahydride. Okay. And electron deficient. Example, B2H6, diborane. And electron rich hydrides, that is ammonia and water. What are the types of the covalent hydride? Electron, electron precise, electron deficient, and electron rich hydride. Since most of the covalent hydrides consist of discrete, discrete small molecules have 
uh, that have relatively weak intermolecular forces they are generally gases or volatile liquid so these are the properties of the covalent hydride uh, the most of the covalent hydride consists of discrete okay discrete we can separate the covalent hydride and uh, small molecules small molecules and have relatively weak intermolecular forces weak intermolecular the molecular force is weak here okay weak van der waals forces here uh, between the metals uh, between the two elements the intermolecular weak intermolecular forces are having and they are generally gases or volatile liquid so this co covalent hydride may be mostly uh, gases okay or volatile liquid understood these are about the today's assignment uh, students should study well and write assignments okay thank you students thank you